Hi, I'm Greg Dubiel, Wanderer Consultant with Wanderer Pack West out of Seattle, Washington. In this recording, I will present uh, Wanderer Intelligence product and how it helps uh, deliver information in the form of dashboards that uh, help uh, make better decisions. In our example, we're going to be using a hypothetical company that has uh, these three uh, systems installed that are sh shown uh, on the screen, meaning they have a financial accounting system, which delivers sales and margin information. They have a production tracking system, which uh, contains uh, both the production plan and also actual production um, data. And also they have HMI and SCADA system, which besides functions specific to the HMI and SCADA functionality, this system also uh, logs some data related to machine uptime and downtime, and also some uh, energy inf uh, usage information. The management of the company uh, want to have dashboards that deliver the following information. Overall, s overall sales and margin information by customer, by product, and over time. Uh, s production schedule attainment, uh, equipment efficiency, and energy uh, usage. So the IT department of the company, uh, using uh, Wonderwell Intelligence, created a unified data model um, that contains the following performance measures or metrics. Uh, sales volume, margin contribution, uh, overall equipment efficiency, um, schedule adherence, and energy devi uh, deviation. And dimensions or criteria that these performance measures will be uh, broken down by are customer, product, shift, uh, the whole line, or individual machines. So uh, here I am, a um, data analyst, or maybe a manager, that is using Wonderware Intelligence Analytics uh, software. And I opened the uh, data model uh, that we're seeing on the left. And uh, what I would like to do now is I would like to see uh, sales revenue and margin on my products by customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a product name here on the on the on the worksheet, uh, and I have my product uh, listed here, products listed, and also I will drag my customer names here, and I have my customers listed here. And now I'm going to drag customer revenue and drop on that uh, grid. Um, I will actually change it to average revenue uh, from each customer. And uh, the numbers are great, but I think I'm go I want to visualize it in a more graphical fashion. So I changed uh, the way it's the data is visualized. And now I have squares. The, the bigger square is the, uh, the greater revenue comes from a given uh, product and a given customer. That's great. That's, uh, that gives me information about uh, uh, customer revenue, but I also would like to analyze uh, margin contribution. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag uh, and drop mar uh, contribution onto the color setting, and I'm going to actually switch it to average contribution. And then I'm going to switch the color scheme and from uh, pure green to uh, red diverging to, to green. And uh, immediately I can see that um, among my products I have I have a little bit of an issue with two products, which are actually happen to be uh, coffee, two types of coffee. Um, I definitely have much lower margin on these products. So uh, we're going to investigate why uh, that is. So I'm going to create a new worksheet. And this time, I'm going to uh, analyze um, line um, equipment, uh, equipment efficiency. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my uh, equipment. So these are my um, lines and machines. And then I'm going to drag and drop my uh, overall equipment efficiency measure, which I'm going to switch to average, and I'm going to sort it. So uh, I have uh, my lines and machines sorted by their uh, overall equipment efficiency, uh, but also I'm going to 
drag this overall equipment efficiency onto the color uh, setting and I will also switch the color scheme to red green div diverging and obviously immediately I see with the color which line is uh, most efficient and which line is the least efficient so as I can see uh, you know uh, coffee line and packer and grinder and roaster these are the three least efficient um, parts of my plant so uh, Intelligence analytics also supports uh, something called actions, which we're basically we can uh, define as a drill down uh, action from a uh, worksheet like this. I already have a uh, worksheet that is ready, um, and uh, I actually define this action. The action will be um, uh, will be a uh, set of OE reports which show data for this for the selected line and here's my my coffee and I can see that its availability is much lower than than it should be so I can click on that availability and see my uh, downtime uh, events that occurred uh, in the system uh, specific specific start time end time and duration uh, for each of the downtime events so hopefully that information will give me uh, some more uh, more uh, information um, to to take some actions um, in my system.